Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. Alright, I got a pot of coffee brewing. I could smell the aromas of the coffee, the caffeine in the air. I'm getting in the mood to record a beautiful video. But before I do, I just want to pay my respects to Brian. Brian Barcheck, one of the pioneers with YouTube, showing all of his reptiles, getting everybody into reptiles. His energy was on another level. Only people like Steve Irwin, and I can't actually think of anybody else, just Brian Barcheck and Steve Irwin had that energy on the camera. It just came through. Some people have it. You know, I don't have half the energy that those guys have, not even a quarter. And the passion that he had, you know, you could just tell when someone just really loves what they're doing. And that's why he became so successful. And without him, maybe I'd never have this YouTube channel because if he didn't start a YouTube channel with reptiles, maybe that would have never became a thing. So I want to thank Brian for all he's done. And it's really just hard to talk about, but I know he's relaxing right now. Looking at everybody, enjoying the reptiles, watching over his family. So I'm just thankful that we have someone like that to show us all of these amazing reptiles. Now I'm going to go grab my coffee and we'll continue this video. So the coffee's ready, it smells amazing. Now normally, I make a toast to all you beautiful people who watch the video, but today, whether you have a cup now or later, let's all make a toast for Brian, his family, and his legacy. This is for Brian. Today is going to be a great video. I'm going to be feeding snakes. I'm going to be showing you my available California king snakes. Give you an update on a couple of other things. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright guys, I turned off my ring light so you could see the color of this beautiful black phase Mex Mex. Now it's kind of hard to see the color on this on camera. I just put the ring light back on. It actually doesn't look too bad with the ring light. But this is a black phase Mex Mex. And the black phase Mex Mex, the skin tone, starts off as a light light gray like a regular Mex Mex as a baby. And as an adult, it just keeps getting darker and darker. You can see the nice belly pattern. So these start out really light gray with the red bands and their skin just gets darker and darker and darker. When I got this guy, his skin was really light gray and at about two years is when I really started noticing his skin base starting to get darker. It's getting really dark now. When you look at him in person, it's a lot darker than what you're seeing on camera, but he's still getting darker and Hopefully he gets almost black with those beautiful, beautiful red bands. One of my favorite Mex Mex, as well as those super granites looking beautiful. Now I got this guy from John Lassiter, well known in the Mexicana community for some amazing snakes. Now we're gonna feed him and I recent, recently named him. His name is Mars, like the planet. Mars, those deep red saddles. Oh, yeah. He's just smelling it right now. Probably a little. Oh, yeah. Got it. Oh, yeah. 
and these look so much better in person just the vividness of the red it looks like it's glowing on that dark dark skin All right, so before Mars completely eats that little hopper, I'm gonna put him back and show you his beautiful girlfriend. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so take a look at this female, Black Phase Mex Mex. I also got her from John Lasseter. She's got more red than Mars, and in between the red saddles, there's like a lighter, orangey red so it looks like flames in between each saddle her base skin tone is a little bit lighter than mars the male but still getting darker so she might get really dark with those beautiful red saddles and if she doesn't get too much darker than this i'm still happy with that she's an absolute gorgeous gorgeous mex mex and just started eating hoppers so Probably a couple more meals. We'll get them on small mice. I'm upgrading these to larger bins in a couple of weeks after I build my rack. Then we'll start giving them mice, getting them up to size by next year. I think she'll be ready to breed. Just a beautiful girl. She's a little bit more on the go than Mars and a little bit more timid when it comes to feeding. So we'll see if we can get her to eat on camera. Look at this beautiful girl, and her name is Neptune. Neptune and Mars. Oh yeah. Now take a look at Burmese. Burmese is my holdback from 2023, last season, pairing Paprika and Riddler, Extreme Abitogates, some of the finest, finest stock. And you can see right here, this girl is just amazing. Now I wish the sun was out right now. I would take her outside. She looks so much better in the beautiful sunlight, but you can still see her pattern, really nice elongated saddles, really, really deep, extreme blacks around those saddles. And because of them being elongated, when you just look at her from afar, from the side, the way she moves, almost reminds me a little bit of a Burmese python, so that's why I gave her that name. Towards the tail, almost solid black. Now. She's been growing and growing and now on hoppers. So let's see if she's hungry for the camera. This girl, I can't wait to see when she's an adult. Oh, so let's see. I don't usually feed her too much on camera, but I have before and there she goes. Oh yeah. So Burmese is actually from 2022, not 2023, made a mistake. Now I'm gonna show you, give you guys an update on one of my holdbacks from Pumpkin and Riddler from 2023, from this season's clutch. In the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy a nice almond biscotti that I got from the Italian market. One of my favorite things to eat when I'm having a nice cup of coffee and hanging out with the snakes. I'm also gonna show you my available Cali Kings and one special holdback from this season. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, tastes so good together.
All right, guys, so take a look at baby number four. And this is a stunning, stunning female from Apollo and Xena's Clutch 2023. Now, if I didn't have so many amazing Cali Kings, I'd probably, I'd probably hold this girl back. But I have so many amazing babies. I have so many amazing adults. I have so many amazing juveniles that will be ready to breed next season. So eventually, eventually I may hold one of these back as I keep breeding them. But this one is available and it's a stunner. Look by the neck, like a polka dot pattern. Look how clean the whites are. The blacks, they're just crisp. Really looks like a work of art. And I'll be posting this girl on Morph Market tomorrow. So this is a sibling. This is a male to that beautiful female that I just showed you. And this is a perfect ink drop that came out from the same clutch with Apollo and Xena. And I am definitely holding this guy back. I love ink drops, pretty much my favorite of the Cali Kings. And this is one of the nicest ink drops I've ever seen. So now this guy definitely taking after his dad Apollo, but even cleaner than Apollo. This is the nice, and the belly is almost pure white on this guy. So take a look at this female, a sibling to the one I just showed you. This is baby number five in the clutch. You, Baby number five, beautiful, beautiful female from Apollo. That nice ink drop male and Xena, that beautiful 50-50, super clean, black and white banded Cali King. Now look at that head stamp, oh baby. So take a look at baby number six. Baby number six is a male from Apollo and Xena's clutch. An amazing looking male. Look at that nice white dot as a head stamp, black and white. Just love the black and white Cali Kings. And right by his neck, there's a little black marking right there that makes him a little bit unique. Almost looks partially like an ink drop, but has some bands. There's another band right there that's going all the way down, really nice and clean. Beautiful, beautiful male. So this is the last baby in the clutch. Baby number seven, this is a female. Xena and Apollo's clutch. Look how amazing that head stamp is. Throughout the body, there's little polka dots. Beautiful, clean whites, black, some more polka dots going on. And look towards the tail, just solid, solid, clean snake now. This one's a little finkly when it comes to feeding, so it's smaller. So I'm not gonna make this one available just yet. Once I get this girl, eating regularly and getting up to size, then I'll make her available. And she is just a stunner. Look at that beautiful pattern. Almost looks like a zebra with polka dots in certain sections with that killer, killer head stamp. Oh yeah, baby number seven. All right, so I just fed the female that will be pairing with this guy down the road. This is a beautiful, zebra line arizona mountain king snake and they call it zebra line for the obvious reason of reduction in red so we're trying to get a snake with more white and black to look like a zebra now typically these will have a lot more red in them and this is a beautiful male that i named bob 
and the lighting is bad but you can see he has an amazing looking pattern and I named him Bob because this comes from the stock of Bob and you know what I don't know how to say the last name so I'm not even gonna try and say it but you guys know who I'm talking about and I named him Bob I got this guy from Joel Reap at Prismatic Reptiles but the stock is from Bob who makes some amazing zebra line Arizona Mountain King Snakes now the female looks just amazing and I hope to produce some really nice zebra lines with even less red than this guy now let's see if he's hungry he's on the move so he could probably smell those delicious delicious rodents in the air or it might just be my coffee but let's see if he's hungry very aggressive Woo! very aggressive eater there he goes right there So I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed looking at the snakes, just hanging out, sipping on some coffee. And you know, I'm hungry now. I went to the Chinese store right before recording. I was gonna order a nice beef lo mein, but they ran out of the lo mein noodle. So I got a beef and broccoli with black bean sauce. Perfect, perfect combination. So I'm gonna go eat that, relax, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh yeah, beef and broccoli.